Hi, and let's learn some Chinese. I'm Stephanie, and welcome to my channel. This upcoming Thursday is China's Duanwu Jie. So in this episode, we are going to talk about Duanwu Jie, Dragon Boat Festival, and its signature food, zongzi. Right here, I've got one for you. No, for myself. Let's get started. Duanwu Jie falls on the fifth day of the lunar calendar. So every year we celebrate it on this day in memory of a patriotic poet who committed suicide in the river, and so the local people made a zongzi for him in order to keep the fish from eating his body. It's a sad story, but in a nutshell, now it has become a celebrated festival, and it is one of the four most important festivals here in China. The rest are obviously Spring Festival, which is like the Christmas, Chunjie, and the next one is Qingmingjie, Tube Sweeping Day, Qingmingjie, and follows by Duanwujie, and then in the August we have the Mid Autumn Festival, Zhongqiujie. Now let's take a look at this cute thing. <laughs> I promise you, it's edible. I'm going to show you in a bit. Anyway, this is called zongzi, which is a signature food in Duanwujie. So zongzi is in memory of that poet whose name is Qu Yuan, and this is made by the reed and rice and some other things, which I will introduce to you in a bit. And we are going to learn how to say the Chinese part. So for this zongzi part, follow me. 跟我读粽子，粽子，粽子。Now the pronunciation is a little bit tricky for you. So 粽子 firstly pouting sound, and 粽粽 So you felt like your tongue is in that funnel. So as if your mouth is a funnel, and you put your tongue there, stick your tongue in it, and also you lift it up and then lower your tongue. So 粽粽粽 As if you were doing, if like I'm doing an exaggerated way, so it's like zong zong, but nobody does that. Anyway, so zongzi and that zi part is a suffix. We've covered about it. It doesn't have a specific meaning. Now let's take a look at this zongzi. So you use the reed leaves and you wrap it, and it's a technique. So it's a kind of funny shape, but interesting and kind of cute. Now let's open it. So this is reed leaves, and you see the rice immediately. There you go. Oops. Next time I should probably take them out before I do the demonstration. But there you go. There you go. You see that. So here, right here, is the rice in it, and often we put date in it. Okay, I'm gonna try this for you guys. Hmm. That's pretty good. So normally this is made by the normi, so the glutinous rice, so or the sweet rice. So this rice is really sticky. So we call them normi. Go and do normi, normi, normi. So 一个粽子 one 粽子有粽叶 So we call this reed leaves. 粽叶粽叶叶是叶子 Leaf, 粽叶大米 or 糯米 often, and then we have date. I'm gonna try this date here, which is right here. There we go. So, 粽子大米糯米粽叶 and then we have 早早 So, there are two kinds of 早 So sometimes we use 普通的枣 like the normal date, and then you just call them 红枣红枣跟我读红枣 which literally means red date red date, and then you have 蜜枣蜜枣 is what's often hidden, I call it hidden hidden in the 粽子跟我读蜜枣蜜枣蜜枣很好 so this 蜜 means honey, so it means the sweet date. And so this is a very traditional, like、um, very common zongzi in basically every region of China. Now the southerners likes to eat 肉粽子，跟我读肉粽子，肉粽子 ，which is a meat zongzi, and it has meat in it. It's very oily and it's very good. It's very tasty as well. 
Okay, so let's put this don't down. Let's recap some of the vocabularies we talked about. So one is don't. I'm sure you all know how to say that. And we have zong ye, zong ye. So it literally just means the reed leaves, but it's specifically referring to zong zi themselves. And we have the main ingredients, which is nuo mi, 很好，糯米，糯米，红枣，红枣 ，very good. And we have mi zao, mi zao. And follows, we have 肉，肉，肉。好，跟我读肉粽子。肉粽子 All right, so that's a quick session about the food here. 粽子 Besides 粽子 we do a lot of other things on 端午节 as well. For example, 赛龙舟 race the dragon boat, and that's something that we always do, and that's where it's getting its English name, dragon boat festival. Now, 跟我读 dragon boat 龙舟跟我读龙舟龙舟龙舟 So 龙 is dragon, and boat here means the 舟 part. So there you go. That's this brief episode. So let's wrap it up and say, 在端午节我们吃粽子，赛龙舟。On the Dragon Boat Festival, we eat 粽子 and we have Dragon Boat Racing Competition. Thank you for watching, and as always, if you like this episode, please give it a big thumbs up and feel free to share it. And I wish you a happy Dragon Boat Festival. I'll see you next episode. Ta da!